In this video, we'll cover how to use Commercial Map Insights to visually search for properties and uncover market trends. Use the RPR map to help better understand and target a trade area using points of interest, traffic counts, and heat map layers. Also search for properties and create trade area reports using any of the drawing tools. There are multiple ways to start a map search, but the quickest way is to simply click the research menu and select Commercial Map Insights. Your search will automatically switch to commercial if you were previously on the residential search. If you have location services enabled for RPR, the map will automatically start based on your location. However, if you want to go to a different geography, enter the geographic area including any advanced search filters in the top search bar. Select the orange magnifying glass to search and your results will appear on the map. RPR has a max number of properties that you can search and a max number you can view. Once your search area exceeds 5,000 properties, RPR will show a message requesting that you adjust your search filters to narrow down your results. You'll also see a message if your search exceeds 500 results that the display is limited to the first 500 properties. Now let's review the basic map controls beginning with the top right side of the map. Here you can increase or decrease the zoom level of the map. Select the location icon to pinpoint your location on the map. Note for this feature to work, you must allow your browser permission to access your location. To expand the map full screen, select the cross arrows. Select again to return to the normal size. Select view to switch your map views from satellite, aerial, road, or terrain. And at the bottom right of the map, select legend to see a key of the map icons. Now that we've reviewed how to control the map, let's look closer at the map tools you can use for search. Select the pencil draw icon to create a custom search area on the map. You can choose to draw freehand or select a shape, radius, polygon, or box. All the drawing tools work similarly with each serving a different purpose. The radius search can be useful if your search involves a landmark or a property you need proximity to. The polygon search can be helpful when you have clear, linear boundaries for the area you want to search, for example, a highway or a river. And the box search can be useful for finding a potentially representative sample of properties in an area you don't know well. And the freehand search allows you the most flexibility to draw your search area. We'll select freehand. Click your mouse and hold down as you drag to draw a shape. Keep your cursor selected until you are finished. As soon as you release the mouse, a window will open showing the custom area size and display options. Select Search in this area to search for listings within your custom shape, or select Conduct a Site Selection to be redirected to the Site Selection search with your drawn area used for the search. Select Create a Trade Area Report to redirect to the Reports Generation page, and generate a trade area report for that area. You can also delete the custom area, edit the area, or save this selected area by choosing Save Area. If you choose to save, you'll be able to enter a name for the custom area, select Save Area again, and then access this from Use a Saved Area on the upper left of the map. Next, we'll explore Driving. Here you can access travel time and distance search tools plus traffic counts. Let's walk through each now. The Travel Time option uses data on traffic patterns to enable the display of approximate driving times in average conditions. This is helpful, for instance, if a client is searching for a property no more than 15 minutes from a specific location, such as healthcare facilities, shipping ports, or a university. You can also use the Travel Time to create a custom trade area report to help promote a property or provide your client with a better understanding of the community they're investing in. When you select travel time, it's easiest to move the pin to your location, but you can also enter a complete street address here. Select Next to continue. Now adjust your travel time criteria. Are you looking to travel by car or walking? What time of day are you traveling? What day of the week? And how long is the length of your journey? If you're looking to create a custom trade area, we offer the typical 3, 5, 10 minute drive time comparison by selecting one of the three as your primary area, or you can choose a larger one if you're in a more rural area. Select Next after applying your criteria. A window appears showing the custom area size. 
Select Search in this area to search for listings within your custom shape. Click the highlighted area again to find your custom area options. Select Conduct a Site Selection to redirect to the Site Selection search or select Create Trade Area Report to redirect to the Reports Generation page. And again, you can delete, edit, or save the area here. The distance search works similarly. Once you enter an address or move your pin and select Next, you can now select the distance to search between 1 and 25 miles. For custom radius-based trade areas, you can create the standard 1, 3, 5 mile analysis by selecting one of the three radiuses as your primary or go larger just like the travel time tool. Select Next, then search in this area. Also in driving, display traffic counts on the map. The tool displays estimated current and historical data based on average daily traffic counts. Choose the traffic counts you want to see, select Apply. Now click on the traffic count icon to view the daily traffic counts as well as historical traffic. Moving down the screen, on the right side of the map you'll see POIs or points of interest. POIs are used to uncover amenities and businesses within close proximity of your search area. Once you select POI, you can select from the community and business POIs such as parks, grocery stores, shopping centers, daycares, hospitals, restaurants, and more. You can also select a grouping of points of interest preset defaults, the basics, entertainment, and seniors. Select Apply. The map will now display interactive map pins that you can click to see each place's business name, address, number of employees, sales volume, industry, and building square footage. If your zoom level is close enough, the map pins will represent the points of interest. There are many ways in which you can search using the RPR maps, but there are additional layers of information you can add while viewing maps to increase your knowledge of an area to help further your search parameters. Data layers showcase demographic indicators such as disposable income and age characteristics, residential indicators such as estimated home values and density, and last, flood zones. The data layers displayed are intended to provide a visualization of important attributes in order to help identify the best area to look for property. Once you've selected your data set, you can change a geography boundary and click Apply to see your selected data visualized across the larger area. A legend for interpreting the data is shown on the bottom right of the map. It's helpful to choose the Road Map View option when using the map layers so you can better visualize the data. Use the Saved Area Search option if you have a predefined area that has been saved. From the menu, simply select the custom area. You can edit the list or rearrange the order in which you view. Select Update to save your changes. The last map tool we'll cover is the Show Geographies dropdown. Use this to search by counties, townships, cities, zip codes, opportunity zones, and census block groups. Begin by selecting the geography you want to search. Your zoom level may change automatically depending on the area you choose. Once a geographical boundary has been selected, it will be displayed on the map and you simply click to select. Select Search in this area to search for listings, or select Conduct a Site Selection to redirect to the Site Selection search, or Create a Trade Area Report to redirect to the Reports Generation page and generate a report for that area. You can unselect or save the area here. Commercial data on maps are big, powerful, and can hopefully help you find the perfect location for your client, or help you dig out the details of an area that will set your listing apart from the crowd. Be sure to subscribe to the RPR YouTube channel. It's an easy way to learn more about RPR features and tools and stay current on updates and improvements.